Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Happy New Year's 2021. Surely this year will be better than 2020. Today we're going to talk about the New Year's Eve tradition that is common in the U.S. Navy. In the U.S. Navy, it's tradition to write the deck log as a rhyme or a poem only during the midnight to 4 a.m. watch on New Year's Eve. Uh, New Year's Eve into New Year's Day, I suppose. The deck log is the record of all of the uh, events that happen on that particular watch, and it's filled out by the quartermaster of the watch right here in the ship's chart house. Uh, the quartermasters are the guys driving the ship and navigating, and so they're writing down all the important stuff, such as uh, the source of power, which boilers and uh, turbines and turbo generators are on, uh, what's the weather and the sea state, what is the ship's course and speed, and what other vessels are around us. So that goes into every single four-hour watch. It's then signed off by the OOD, the officer of the deck, and then uh, at the end of each month it is submitted to Naval History and Heritage where it is stored at the Washington Navy Yard for 30 years prior to going to uh, the archives at College Park in Maryland where it is then held uh, so that researchers can look at it forever. Normally these logs are short and sweet and to the point they list the information that needs to be in there and nothing else. But New Year's is the one exception to that. This is a tradition that's unique to the U.S. Navy and it's unclear when it started. Um, sometime during the interwar period between World War I and World War II, the first deck logs start to be written like this. Uh, during World War I, the U.S. Navy operated with the Royal Navy. However, they don't have a uh, fleet-wide tradition like the U.S. Navy developed. It was kind of sporadic in the interwar years, but in the post-World War II years, the tradition spread out much more broadly. And by 1968, there was a contest for uh, who could write the best New Year's Eve poem. So somewhere around a thousand ships submitted entries to the Navy to win this contest or I believe it was All Hands Magazine, the Navy's official magazine. And then the entries were published in the magazine. Uh, the winning officer of the deck got $100. Um, the winning ship got $50 into their crew morale fund. And anybody who submitted an application, both them and their commanding officer, got $5. By 2016, only 30 ships applied to this contest. And in 2017, it was only 20. So if you're in the Navy, uh, make sure your ship submits an application this year. The contest is still ongoing. So here is Battleship New Jersey's not winning entry into the 1968 contest. Uh, and forgive me, um, it is handwritten, so I might not read as smoothly as I should. Independently steering off Vietnam in search of Victor Charlie Kong. And now, just south of the DMZ, shooting DT targets too far to see. With orders from Com 7th Fleet to fire our guns and keep things neat. As a part of 70.8.9, we will be firing all the time. Employment schedule 369 keeps us busy on the line. The OTC and SOPA 2 is Captain Snyder of 62. Courses vary through the night, but 090 at 5 just now seems right. Yoke is set. We know it's true. We steam a condition of readiness too. With boilers 1, 3, 5, and 8, Generators 2, 4, 6, and 8 will have no problem making steam. With them on our New Jersey team, we show no navigation light for darkened ship this New Year's night. Lieutenant Thornton, the OOD. 
says things look good and we should see a sunrise with the pass of time to bring us into 69. There are some things we hold so dear, among them peace in this new year. Good cheer, good luck, a safe trip home, and with that thought, I'll end this poem. For more entries need be entered here of the 0241. Order was received to fire our guns. Commenced fire, main battery turret two, and a happy new year, Victor Charlie, to you. Seven salvos resounded with a mighty clap, with seven full charges and projectiles high cap. The enemy in his hooches and bunkers, we did zap. Yeah, so now that we've read that, let me go through and uh, mention some of the things that are important to the deck log that might have been in a regular one without rhyming and uh, what they mean. So, Victor Charlie is Viet Cong. DMZ is Demilitarized Zone. That's the border between North and South Vietnam. Com 7th Fleet is the commander of 7th Fleet, uh, who during this time was uh, Admiral McCain. Uh, as part of 70.8.9 is the task group that Battleship New Jersey is assigned to. Uh, employment schedule 369, March of 69 is when the ship was supposed to go home, I believe. The OIC and SOPA, that is officer in charge and senior officer present afloat, is Captain Snyder of 62. Captain J. Edward Snyder was the commanding officer of BB-62. Uh, course 090 means that on a 360 degree compass, the ship is going at 90 degrees, which is due east. Uh, yoke is a material condition of readiness, X-ray, yoke, and zebra. Uh, so yoke is not quite full general quarters, but not with everything opened up. Uh, condition of readiness, too, is a variance of yoke, means that only a certain number of people have to be at their general quarter stations. Uh, the ship is steaming with four boilers running, one in each engine room, and four boilers offline. That's common, uh, so some are down for maintenance, the others you don't need to be burning that much fuel. Uh, and they're running four of the eight generators. Again, common. Lieutenant Thornton inserts his own name here as the OOD. He mentions bringing us into 69 or 69 a couple times. It's 1968 into 1969 is the stack log. My favorite part about this whole log is he finishes it out, but then the ship receives another firing mission during his watch and he has to rewrite it uh, or add another stanza onto the bottom, which has to give the number and types of projectiles firing. So at uh, 0241, just uh, 241 in the morning, which means he wrote the rest of this in the first two and a half hours of his watch. Uh, they receive order to fire their guns. It says what kind of fire mission it is, um, that they're using turret two, and uh, that they're firing seven salvos from turret two, which probably means 21 rounds expended. You're using full charges, which you have to record so you know how much barrel wear you have and how much powder you're burning, and the type of projectiles, high cap or high capacity, which is the explode on contact variety. Uh, so this is a full and complete log with that stuff added. If you would like to see what our normal deck logs look like without all the poetry, there's a link in the description below that will take you to a file that has many of our 1944 and 1968, 1969 logs. Those are the only ones that the battleship has copies of. Uh, the rest are still in the archives at College Park, and we haven't had the opportunity to go through and look at them and pull all of the deck logs for the ship. Uh, if you're a researcher and you're interested in doing that, we'd love to have scans of them. If, if you've got any other than uh, the ones we mentioned, again, we'd love to have scans of them. But feel free to check those out and see what the deck log's like. It's great research. Uh, also in the description below is a way that you can support the museum. We do receive operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, but if you donate below, that money not only supports the museum, but it goes directly into our YouTube channel so that we can continue making multiple videos a week. 
Uh, if you'd like to see multiple videos a week, remember to like, share, and subscribe so you're notified when new content is going out. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments about filling out the deck logs or what you see when you're going through our deck logs, drop them in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.